Who knew that the world wasn't actually pixelated? I mean, I certainly didn't. I'm going to talk to you today about a subject I find fascinating. And it is a recently, only, you know, a fairly recently identified neurological disorder called visual snow. And the reason it fascinates me so much is it is it's because it's something that I have had since I was a little girl and it all, almost was normal to me. I thought that everybody kind of saw the world the same way as I did. And really the disorder presents itself as almost a layer of static over everything. So when I see the world, I see it with almost a layer of static covering it, almost like an old analog television. And for me personally, when I get stressed or if I suffer with migraines um, or I'm not feeling particularly well in myself, that static is even worse. So it can become quite debilitating for me, especially if I'm trying to read. Because it's a relatively rare disorder, it's only in the last few years that a lot of research has gone into this particular condition. And from what I gather, those people like me who are born with it tend to have it relatively mildly, and other people can acquire it um, later on in life, either through an accident or through taking drugs and things like that. And they often seem to be affected much more by it. Now, visual snow syndrome itself is accompanied by some visual and some non-visual symptoms. The visual symptoms have to be constant. They may be severe or they may be mild, but they are constant. And it is normally that layer of static or tiny little dots and pixelations in the vision all the time. And for some people, for me, it can be multicolored. For some people, it can be white. And for some people, it can be almost transparent dots. Um, People with visual snow syndrome can also suffer with extreme sensitivity to light or what's known as photophobia. Also, they can have more difficulty seeing at night. In fact, that visual snow can be really quite severe at night and, and, and cause debilitation in your vision. You can also suffer things like after images in your vision or swirly lights and, and blue light entopic phenomenon, which is when you see shapes in your vision when you're looking at a, the, a blue sky or a blue surface. Visual snow syndrome has also been shown to be related to tinnitus, which is like a humming or um, buzzing sound in your ears. And again, not everybody with visual snow syndrome has this, but it is quite common among people with visual snow syndrome. Migraine sufferers, around 50% of people with visual snow syndrome also suffer migraines with auras. And this is certainly the case for me when I have a migraine, that visual snow can be, as I said earlier, really quite debilitating for me. It can also be linked with something called depersonalization, which is where you can feel a little bit detached from yourself. Other people with it can report muscular pain and headaches. So that, in a nutshell, is visual snow syndrome. So what actually causes it? At the moment, nobody really knows. There's a lot of research done, and it is believed to be due to a hyperactivity in the visual cortex. So it is a brain-related condition, a neurological condition, not a condition of the eyes itself, which is why many people that have it, actually, the eye tests and the health of the eyes are absolutely normal. So how do we treat visual snow syndrome? Well, for most people like me, who it's fairly mild for, really don't need any treatment at all. Um, but for people who it is quite severe for, there has been some evidence that certain anticonvulsant medications can help. However, it's really the treatment plan is very individualised and, and at the moment what is working for one person is not working for everybody. And certainly at the moment, there's a number of clinical trials that are underway to try and find an effective treatment for visual snow. So that in a nutshell is visual snow syndrome. If you want to know a bit more about this syndrome, do check out Visual Snow Institute. Um, it's a great website with lots and lots of information on what is going on really in the world of visual snow. So what I would like to know from you guys is, are you like me? Is it something you've suffered throughout your entire life and assumed was completely normal? Or is this information absolutely mind blowing for you? I'd love Love to hear your comments below and if you have enjoyed this video again let me know in the comments below so I can create more content like this for you in the future and do please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching